Welcome back to my icy cold balcony here in Hamilton, Ontario. Uh, no, I'm just joking. In today's video, we're going to be discussing a few different options that I found to work for me on my post editing. Uh, and that's going to be grading on the S-Log3 footage, which this, uh, this S-Log3 footage is going to be coming from the FX3, A7S3 and the A7 IV. Um, now, I'm going to be talking about three specific ways on color grading this and now those three specific ways are going to be from different uh, people or companies where you can purchase these grades or LUTs um, that I'm going to be discussing. This one is going to be Trop Color that just came out with their color conversion LUTs, which is going to be converting the S-Log3 footage to a Rec. 709 color space. Uh, the Phantom LUTs now, uh, Phantom LUTs is going to be a little different than the Trop Color, um, of course. Well. Phantom Lutz is going to be giving you more of a film emulation look, um, a little bit uh, darker contrast, uh, deeper shadows, but richer in color and color tone as well. Um, now, so now all these looks that I'm going to be talking about are going to be used in different scenarios. Now, you're not going to be using Tropic Color over Phantom Lutz. It's whatever you prefer, whatever look you're going for. Um, so now the third option is going to be using the standard Rec. 709 LUT from Sony that you can find on their website. Um, so now from Tropic Color, you do get a, f um, a variety of different LUTs. Now, all these, the, all these LUTs are gonna be fairly the same. It's just one LUT is gonna have a little bit more contrast than the other. One LUT might not have some saturation. It all depends on what you shot, where you shot. For example, at nighttime, you're not gonna wanna use one of the LUTs that have a lot of saturation because it's just gonna look awful. Um, especially in the mid-tones and the contrast. You're gonna be using the Tropic Color if you're going for a Rec. 709 look, but you can also use this Rec. 709 look and then add a film log LUT to this after to kind of emphasize the look of your footage, which I kind of normally do, but then I also turn down the opacity of the Rec. 709 LUT so then I can have my log film look stand out a little bit more and look a little bit more filmish. In today's video, I'm only gonna be shooting one situation, which is just gonna be right outside here because it's kind of sunny. Um, there's a lot of texture, there's a lot of color. We have a blue sky. So I feel like this is probably like the best scenario to kind of display all these LUTs and what these LUTs have to offer. So now, like I said, Phantom LUTs is good if you're going for that film emulation look. If you wanna have a specific look and you wanna be able to stand out, um, but now when you buy all these LUTs or when you buy any type of LUT, you can't just expect to just double tap the LUT and apply it to the video clip and then you're done. Um, you will probably have to do some minor adjustments such as like, you know, maybe raising the shadows or a white balance adjustment. It, it, like it all depends on what you shot and how you shot it. Um, but one thing that I found out with the Phantom LUTs is that these LUTs are a little bit more contrasty than others. Um, so you do have to expose these LUTs a little differently or just bring down the contrast. It's up to you on whatever look you're going for and the scenario that you shot. So now the Rec. 709 LUT from Sony, I haven't specifically used this LUT, um, but I'm going to download it and slap it on the test footage just to show you guys a different, a sam different example of what this LUT looks like compared to all the other ones that I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to come on here and just talk about a different variety of ways you can color grade your S-Log3 footage. But I'm gonna show you guys a quick little test shot with the A7 IV and with all these LUTs applied. And you guys tell me which one looks best or which one you guys would go for. I'm gonna post links to these LUTs in the bottom below in the description. And you let me know in the comments which one you like the most and which one stands out. Um, but yeah, until then, we'll see you guys next video.